Traditional, modern, or freestyle, which do you prefer? Tracy Russell will help you find the motif that your quilt needs. Tracy, in our previous episode, you showed us the same block, mm -hmm. but done in three different quilting motifs. And now you're going to dig a little deeper. A little bit, yeah. Like I said before, it you know it, it depends a lot on the feel of the quilt and the fabrics that you use and the colors and who it's for. You know, is the print busy? Is it solid? You want to save your best work for tone on tones and solid, or you know, a little bit of a print. If the print's really, really heavy, you're never going to see it. Yep. Right? Yep. So the sheets that I have here, just they're just sort of line drawings of what's already on there. Yep. Right? So my interpretation of more traditional obviously is more feathers. Yeah. Right? Yep. The, the elegant. Is elegant. What I'd say. Yeah, elegant, very clean and, and pretty, very feminine. I mm -hmm. see feathers as very feminine. Mm -hmm. um, the freestyle one is just meant to be more fun. And yeah, whimsical, and it could be yeah. for, you know, boys, girls, moms, dad. It doesn't matter. Masculine, feminine. It's just a lot more free flowing, a lot more room for, or you know, being organic and just letting it kind of go where it goes. They don't all have to be perfect. Yeah. If you want perfect, get a computer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we have is, those too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But free <laughs> that is something for free everybody. supposed to be just what it is. And if yep. it's not all exactly the same and perfect, then that's okay. Yep. Right? Yeah, this is more formal. It's very formal. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's lovely. I, I really, I like feathers. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then what we didn't talk about before, this is the modern one. So when I think of modern, I think of straight, a lot of straight lines. It's yeah. very clean and crisp. Yeah. Um, not a lot of, you know, I don't think there's too many curls and flowers and leaves and things like that in more modern quilting. So here we kept it we kept it pretty um, pretty simple with just the lines. Now what we didn't talk about in the first uh, episode was this band that's in the middle of this block. And there are more ways than I can count to finish the band part, right? Um, this one here, we've got some simple ribbon candy. That's a modern, sort of a modern motif that I think of. You could also just do some nice straight lines to keep it nice and crisp mm -hmm. and clean. This one here has just a straight up and down, a little bit of ruler work in there. I've got the quarter inch spacing there. What that does, that quarter inch spacing, sometimes I'll use it even in a narrow border. I know it's off topic a little bit, but even in, in a narrow border, that makes your space a little bit smaller. So you get the best of both worlds. Your motif that whatever you put in that space shows off nicer it because does. it's contained yeah. with a line. It's like framed almost. It does, it yeah. frames it and it also makes the space smaller. So if the motif that you wanted to put in there would work better at an inch and a half and it doesn't look so good at two and a half, cut the space down a little bit. Uh -huh.